everybody, so this is going to be my July beauty favorites, and I am currently up at the lake, as you can tell behind me. I'm in the trailer right now, it's very, very hot outside, so I decided I would film in here. I actually forgot my blow dryer, so um, my hair is a little bit crazy, it's still a little bit wet, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to film this video, video anyways because I wanted to get up a favorites video. I actually brought up very minimal makeup to the lake with us because we're here for a week. We come here every summer. It's one of my, one of the things I look most forward to all year round. And honestly, I just kind of kick back and relax and don't really worry that much about makeup. So I didn't bring a lot of makeup with me. I, I'm going to show you kind of the stuff that I have been loving this summer so far and some of the stuff I don't have with me. So I'll just show you a picture instead. Okay, so my favorite foundation this summer has actually been somewhat of a combo. I have been loving combining a BB cream with a foundation, and the combo I like the best that I'm using most often is the Pond's BB Cream Luminous Finish in Medium, which I've shown before. And I combine half of this with one pump, uh, sometimes like a pump and a half, of this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. This is the foundation I used all winter long. I loved it. I recently picked it up in an even darker color because I have a lot of tan happening right now. This color is golden tan. Um, so that's what I'm wearing right now, the medium with the golden tan. And I, honestly, I just apply it with my fingers. I find that that works better than the beauty blender or a brush, and it's so much quicker. I'll just rub the two together in my hands and put it all over my face, and that's what I'm wearing right now. And it just feels very natural, it doesn't feel like there's much on my face, it doesn't get oily, so that has been my favorite combo. For bronzer, the one I've been reaching for for the past three months or so consistently has been from NARS. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I only have a sample one. I've had it for a year, I think, maybe a year and a half. And I've definitely hit pan now, you get, that tells you how much I've been using it. I just love this bronzer. I've been falling in love with it more and more. I think the more tan I am, the more it works for me because it's a little bit of a darker shade, but I can use this as a bronzer all over my face or I can contour with it and it just looks beautiful. Blush is a tough one because there are so many blushes that I use on a regular basis and that I love, but I only brought one up here with me so that kind of tells you how much I'm really loving this blush right now. This is from Avon actually and I don't often buy from Avon, but I did a couple years ago and I just love this color. It's Coral Radiance. It comes in a really big package like that. It looks like sort of a peach blush. It's called coral, but there, that's more true to color. It looks very light and peachy, but I have it on my cheeks right now, and it's just this beautiful color. It has a tiny bit of sparkle to it. Not much, though. It just looks really good um, with a tan. just makes you look more alive, and I love it. Okay, as far as eyeshadow, I haven't been doing really much fancy in the past couple of months. Once summer hits, I just don't really care. It's hot out, it's going to melt off anyways, and I don't really feel like experimenting too much. So my go-to's have been this Sephora Outrageous Prisma Chrome Eyeshadow and Outrageous Metallic Peach. That's the packaging there. I'm sure I've shown this before. That's what it looks like. So it's metallic peach. I just rub it on my finger and then pat it all over my lid, and it's like this bronzy, peachy gold shimmer color, and that's what I have on my eyelids right now. Not sure if you can see. And then I just used the um, NARS Laguna bronzer in my crease just as a bit of a contour. And it's super fast, super easy. If I feel like a cream eyeshadow, I've been reaching for this one from Mary Kay. And it's the color Apricot Twist. There's a whole bunch of cream eyeshadows I like, but I've been reaching for this one a lot because it's just a go to everyday color. That's what it looks like there. Very similar to the one I just showed you from Sephora. Alright, lip colors. There are two in particular that I've been gravitating to the most this summer. The first one I'm wearing right now. I'm not sure if you can get a very good view of it in here, but it's actually from Wet n Wild. Really inexpensive 903C Just Peachy. That's what it looks like. It's not the best formula in the world. I mean, I think it's like a $2 lipstick, but I fell in love with the color. That's what it looks like. It's like a vibrant peachy, pinky color, and it actually lasts pretty long. My lips doesn't dry them out, so I've been reaching for that a lot. really like it. The other one I picked up at Sephora, and it's Sephora brand um, Glossy Lip Pencil in the color... Oh no, it's rubbed off. I think it was like light pink or something, but it's not light pink. Well, it is light pink, but it's not just light pink. The reason I picked it up is because I was actually going into Sephora to try out the new Bite Beauty lipsticks, and I fell in love with this one color, and they were sold out of the color that I wanted, but they had like the little sample. So I went around the whole store trying to find the closest match to that sample. This is what I found. I think it's light pink. I'll swatch it for you. But it's like a... It's right here. Do, do, do. 
It's like a pale peachy pink color, just not as bright as the Wet n Wild one. And they're really glossy as you can see. They last a long time, super easy to apply. So I just feel like this color goes with anything. It doesn't matter what's on my face. It just goes with absolutely everything. Okay, and then a couple that I didn't bring with me but I've been using a lot. The first one is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I've had it for about three months now, I think, and it's amazing. I've definitely fallen in love with it. It is pricier, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Out of every concealer I've ever tried, it creases the least on me. Very, very minimally creases, but it has really good coverage. So I would highly recommend that. And then for primer, the Benefit Professional... I know I've mentioned this before, I have a number of sample ones and I will be picking up the full size, which says a lot about a primer if I'm willing to spend the full size on it because it is quite pricey but it's so worth it. It hides your pores, makes your face matte, makes your makeup stay on longer, it's just, it's a beautiful primer. And then as far as fake tan, um, I talked about this in my empties video, I've been using the Victoria's Secret, um, I think it's just called, what's it called? Self tan. I think it's just called self tan but I'll put a picture here somewhere. Uh, really easy to use, really inexpensive, doesn't go orange, doesn't go streaky, and it lasts me um, about a week and a half before it noticeably starts coming off. So I've been using that all summer and I love it. And the last thing I want to mention is from St. Ives and it's the Spray On Lotion. I love that stuff. I tried one from another brand. can't remember what the other brand is right now. It's not coming to my head, but um, the St. Ives one, the scents are so amazing. It's a bigger bottle, it smells delicious, it sprays on so easy and just soaks into your skin so quickly but still feels hydrated. I don't think I could ever go without that stuff anymore. I just love it that much. So yeah, those are my July favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite products have been in the month of July. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!